Hello guys, in this video I'll show you how to implement magic into dynamic combat system. So first let's show it in Explorer and copy magic module and let's paste it into content folder of dynamic combat system. And after it's done, let's restart the editor. Let's open combat character blueprint in both projects. Okay, and in dynamic combat system, let's add ability component. And now let's copy extended mana component from magic pack. Now let's open function get desired rotation. Let's copy uh, commented part. Now let's open toggle combat action input. And same, let's copy the commented on blue part into this year's project. Okay, and we also have to create two missing variables. Okay, now we need to add ability component interface and let's implement its functions. Now let's go to event graph and copy whole ability events graph and paste it into dynamic combat system. Now we need to create one variable and now let's click on file and refresh all nodes. Okay, now let's go to on input buffer consumed event and let's add those two events into dynamic combat system. Okay, let's go through a few more events. So firstly, update rotation settings. And let's add a new condition. Okay, now let's open on combat type changed. And we also need to add new condition here. Let's also open on movement mode changed. And now on state event changed. Let's also open update zoom function and we need to add new condition here as well. Okay, and finally, let's update montages used when magic is uh, used.
Okay, now let's open animation blueprint of combat character. And we got a few things to copy here. So first let's add this component. Okay, we need to create this variable. And now let's go to animation blueprint and let's copy and paste this whole blue commented part. Okay, and now let's uh, connect it with switch. We need to add magic pose here. Okay, we also need to open equipment component and add uh, spell as main hand type. Okay, now let's open skeleton of combat character. I will show you which sockets you should uh, copy and paste into your project. If you're using newer version of dynamic combat system, the socket should already be there. But if not, then simply copy and paste them from magic pack. So it should be magic left hand magic right hand, magic beam, vand and vand use. So right click, copy selected sockets and paste them in into dynamic combat system. Okay now let's handle widgets. We can maximize dynamic combat system project and let's open widget blueprint inventory. Uh, we should find here spell category button. Let's uncheck the eye icon and change visibility to self it test invisible. Now let's open equipment widget. Okay, let's find horizontal box with spells and do the same as in inventory. Now let's open active equipment slots widget. And let's copy paste the metal weapon so slot and let's rename it to spell slot. We can also change background texture and slot type to spell. And finally, let's open widget blueprint in game. Okay, let's copy and paste stamina. Or name it to mana. Now we need to change its type to mana and let's position it at 100 and 124. And we can also change color to some kind of blue. And now let's also add equipment slots and let's position it uh, in our in game widget. Okay, and the system already should work, so let's add a few spells to our pickup actor and test them. Okay, let's pick up the spells and equip them. And yeah, they working. Okay, now let's also add ability to our mal weapons. So let's open blueprint mal weapon, add interface item has ability. And now let's implement get ability function. So promote ability to variable. 
We could also do it to range weapons, but in this case I'll show you only how to do it uh, to Mal. Now let's open Steel Sword, which is child of uh, Mal weapon, and let's add Shockwave ability. Okay, and now when I have Steel Sword equipped and I press mouse thumb button, I see this ability. And finally, let's also test AI. So let's drop Mage AI into this scene. Okay, so it works. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.